Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to the Alphabet of God's Promises in Psalms. I am just loving this series. I hope you guys are too. Um, today we are focusing on the letter N. The letter N. And I really, because these two pages were kind of like a, almost like a two-page spread, right? Because they're side by side. I figured I was going to use the same Prima watercolor set and the same two colors, but do it a little bit differently. Um, I do have the verse here, so I am also using some of the uh, Felicity Jane pieces from um, the acetate little kit that I got from them. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Let's just kind of move along here and see what we come up with. All right. And I did pull out, whoops, the tape that I was going to use last time and never did. So we'll see if I can get it onto this page. And I have my coffee. So let me take a sip. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Good stuff. Okay. So you can see, if you remember from last week, the way I put the two colors on the back, um, it was kind of almost like little squares of color. Almost. Not quite. Um, but I do want to go ahead and, even though I'm going to use those two colors, I am going to do it differently. So I know that I want this piece of acetate in the middle there. Um, so I don't want to go under it. Okay, well, let me tell you the verse first, since you're kind of seeing it right now. Anyway, uh, so this is Psalm. What is it? It is Psalm, let me pull my notes here, Psalm 41, verse 3. And it reads, um, oh, I left out an S, nurses those who are sick. I left off a letter. Nurses, so God nurses those who are sick. Um, and I don't think that if I had color behind this, I mean, it's hard enough to read those words, you know, so I'm not going to, I'm going to leave the background of that white, but I am going to put some color on the top and the bottom, um, of the page. All right. So. I think I used these two colors. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to focus on the top and the bottom of the pages. And I'm not looking to do those little squares again. Um, I don't know what I'm <laughs> exactly what I am looking to do, but I know I'm not looking to do those little squares. So I'm going to go in with the more of a horizontal. See, now I have to be careful. I think I went too far down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. No, it's fine. It is fine. So I'm going to go all the way down the page. That's what I'm going to do. I thought by having color behind it would make it really just too, too much. But I kind of like it. And maybe because the watercolor that I'm using is very soft in color. So, all right. So let's pull in some of the pink. Just a little bit here and there to make it look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And what I do with my watercolor when I do it, I spray some water on my table. So let me show you, I'll spray some over here. 
I spray water on my table because I have a, a craft mat, a really long craft mat. Uh, on my table and I like to pick it up to keep the watercolor um, nice and wet so it doesn't dry out and that's just kind of how I like to do it I do I do all right so I'm thinking that's probably good okay so I'm going to move this to the side, and that was the Prima, I believe, Citrus um, watercolor set. I'm going to go ahead and take care of my brush, and let me clean this up. So, again, I, our verse is Psalm. 41.3, which I have to write somewhere on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this down. And um, let me pull out my adhesive. And I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do in this case is kind of go around the edges. Now the adhesive is clear. Um, but the acetate is also clear. So... I don't know, it dries quite well, I must say. It's not like some adhesives that you can see behind acetate. I mean, it's like so obvious. This is not as obvious. I mean, if you look really, really, really closely, you can see it. Um, but you know what? You just don't. I don't know, because, well, the way I do things, I have so much other stuff going on on the page. Um, and the verse nurses those who are sick. That's our promise, right? So God, he nurses those who are sick. So, you know, he will, the Lord will be like a nurse to us when, when we are ill. And he will make us well again. And that is a promise from God. And that's a pretty awesome promise. And this page, so 41 verse 3, is almost like an extension of what we did two weeks ago because we focused on Psalm 41, 1 and 2. And then this is Psalm 41, 3. Um, so if you read those all together, it makes just a little bit more sense but I liked it. I thought it was an easy peasy <laughs> verse and I decided to keep it that way. And I'll hold it up so you can read it. It's not super easy. The first thing that I used was a Posca paint pen in pink and then I went over it with a jelly roll pen in pink and it helped it to pop a little bit more. I mean, will I add uh, more color to that? I don't know. It's certainly possible. You know, it, it is. It's it's certainly possible, but I'm not planning on it at the moment. So just like um, with, let's see, actually it was three, paid, three weeks ago that um, we worked on Psalm 41 as well. But two weeks ago when I worked on this page, I pulled in the Heidi Swap Butterfly and I also have these butterflies from her. Remember those? They're like uh, chipboard. They're not like chipboard. They are chipboard. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I know that this peels off. I mean, I can see that it does. I just am not very good with that kind of thing, but that came off pretty easily. So let's see if it still sticks. I don't know if it's still gonna stick or not. Oh, it did, it's beautiful. Heidi Swap, you're awesome. You're awesome. And then I have a smaller one. And you know, ladies, how good it feels when you use stuff from your stash that you haven't used in quite a while. So I'm liking that so far. So I think this is kind of like a very different page. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then here's some of the washi that I had out last time. I don't even know what the right way is to put musical notes. I don't know. I think that looks cute. <laughs> Right or wrong, that's how it's going on here. Um, I have no idea which way musical notes go. <laughs> I do want to try to use all of these pieces of this washi that I took off of the roll last week and never used. So I'm just going to kind of do this, right? That's it. I just put it all there. Whether it's upside down or right side or whatever. There you go. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now. Um, so this like three by four card is from Felicity Jane. As well as this arrow that I am going to staple down. Okay. Now the rest of that Felicity Jane acetate kit. There's like three or four pieces left to it, so I did really good with it. I used it on, you know, a few pages all in a row. Um, yeah, I, you know what? I just kind of took them out of the package and placed them in my little bin, and that is fine. And I'm using that long paper clip that I took out on one of my pre previous pages as well. And so again, you know, I kind of want these to look similar, right? I want them to look similar. So on this page, I had um, an Illustrated Faith puffy sticker. So I'm going to try to do that. And I'm also going to try to pull in some of these little glittery hearts, which I have three of them on this page. All right. And I also liked this round piece that was black on this Felicity Jane um, kit. So let me see if I can find a good spot for that. And I think I'm going to put that there. And there's also the word today in that puffy sticker. And it's gray. And of course, the gray with the black looks super nice. So let's see. He nurses those who are sick. And that's today and every day. All right, I think I'm going to put this here. So I'm really not having a, you know, a, a firm idea at this point what it's going to look like. Sometimes I have a pretty, really pretty good idea. Um, but this time, I don't. All right. I definitely want to pull in. Ooh, this is perfect. Ooh, this is perfect. It's a little, like, coffee cup or tea cup. So when you're sick, you're going to have some tea. Ha! How was that? How was that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So now I got my little Illustrated Faith <laughs> puffy sticker on there. Um, oh, and here's my bin of all my old, like I have all these Heidi Swap um, plastic arrows. I have butterflies. I have, these are not Heidi Swap. These are wood veneers. I have all my hearts, look at that, all my hearts. I have stars. I even have these, which were the Lux, L-U-X-E, I think it was Lux, uh, Pink Paisley Lux, was it? And here's, um, let me put that one there. Here's some more of the chipboard butterflies and then chipboard arrows. So see this little bin here? It's probably been like this for at least five years. I'm thinking, at least five. So, okay, so we're moving along. Is there anything else on here? Uh, I don't think so. All right, but that's all right. We're moving along, people. We are moving 
coming along. All right, so now I want to put some hearts. I'm liking this cluster down here, but it definitely needs, it needs something to pull it all together. So if I put that heart there and say that heart there, and then if I write something here, I feel like it's gonna pull that together um, a little bit better. Do I have anything in here? that I can put on here. I have this little this little bin right here. Not even a bin. It's just this little thing I throw stuff in like all the time. And I have these. I don't know. Hmm. All right, I'm not seeing anything in here that I think, oh, maybe the silver would look good. All right, I'm gonna keep that out. It's just a little silver piece. It's like a sequin. Uh, but a little bit different. I'm gonna keep that out in case I wanna use it. All right, I wanna put at least one more heart on here. If I can put a white one somewhere, that would be amazing. So I'm gonna put it right there. Will it stay? Yes. Look at that, look how cute that looks. An arrow with a heart on it. Black and white, super cute, super cute. All right, I like that. I'm gonna get this little piece on here because this looks just a little bit too neat to me um i need i need i need i need and i don't think i have them out the puffy um the dimensional adhesive here it is it's in my cabinet behind me these right so i can take this put it on the back of this because it's indented, right? Just like a piece of, um, uh, what's it called? I just said it like two seconds ago. Oh my gosh, whatever. And I'm gonna just put that there. Okay, so see, I like that cluster a little bit better. It's still a little too uniform for me. Uh, can I move that? Let me see if I can just move that over just a little bit. Okay, so now, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of verse here to write, but what I can write is, first of all, I have to put the actual verse on here because it's not written on here. So it's Psalm 41.3. I'll write that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to write it sideways. So Psalm... Uh, 41, three, 41, three. All right, so that's the Psalm. It is a letter N. I'm gonna write that on this side, letter N. Uh, and the word is nurses. Okay, so I think what I will do, I do wanna write a little bit on here. Um, I think what I'll do, now do I wanna outline anything? Now I can't outline on top of the acetate, at least not with this pen. Um, like if I had like more of like a paint type um, something with a nozzle, I'd be able to go around those, but with this pen, it's not going to write on this acetate. So I don't know that I'm going to outline anything on this page, but I think I will write, um, he will, he will make us well again. So, he, um, he, and this is not part of this, the scripture is just kind of what it means, right? So he will make us well again. So sometimes I'll write 
some of the words are part of the scripture on the page. Other times I will just do, you know, um, words that I think make sense for the page, that kind of thing. So I'm good with this. I am happy. I am happy with this. I kind of like this very, very, very much. So I am done with letter N. See, now what's bothering me between these two is that I have outline stuff there and I don't have outline stuff here. And that literally is bothering me. So maybe I can do something like this if it's hopefully not going to move. I have to just be careful because it's just a paper clip on there. Let me get a little something outlined on here. Um... There's really not a lot I can outline. So at this point, I can't even outline around this acetate piece because I have these words written so close to it. If I did, I would like be crossing them out. I think I'm gonna have to leave it as is. So this is now like a little two page spread in my traveler's notebook. And let me kind of pull that out here. So, this, oh, this is really getting full, huh? This is getting full. So I made, I so a while back, I'm like not finishing my sentences. <laughs> a while back, I deconstructed this Webster's Pages, which is beautiful. This Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. So when I say deconstructed, what I did was I took, I think it, it's held together with uh, two staples. I took the staples out, I cut the pages in half, and I used the disc bound system for it because it makes it so much easier to tear the pages out and work on them and then you just saw me put them back in it was that easy and to take them out so like i'm gonna have to work on the other side of this page this is the one we just did all you do is you pull it like that and you're done and then i can work on the other side so i'm super happy with this it's really getting full i don't know if i'm gonna make it through the whole alphabet though, if it's gonna be too full. So I may have to either take out some of, see, I can't take it out because I have, see, this is this is Psalms, but it's not the alphabet um, of God's promises. I started that here. So I really can't take it apart um, and move some of it to another one. I think I'm gonna have to get bigger discs. So these are, I think the small, I'm gonna have to get the medium ones and then I'll definitely be able to, look at how chunky, I'll be able to finish the alphabet of God's promises in Psalms in this particular traveler's notebook. So that's it for today. Um, have a blessed week. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. Have a blessed week, everybody. Bye-bye.